Okay, we're getting ready to do our install. We've placed the antennas, the SIM card, powered it up with the temporary battery pack. We're sitting here right by the unit we want to get connected to the network. And you can see we're one bar and we're flashing green. So we're connected to the network, but it's only on 3G. We want to have five bars and we want this to be blue so that it's LTE. So second step is let's go outside. Let's see what we got outside because if we don't have good signal outside, trying to get it indoors is a waste of time. So we'll meet you outside. Okay, here we are outside. We're just right outside the building. You can see I've got five bars of signal strength and I'm flashing blue. And it's flashing blue because there's nothing attached to the ethernet port. But this would be solid blue if we were connected to the device. So we know we can get LTE five bars right outside the building. Let's go find the applicable place inside the building to place this product so we can get those same five bars indoors. Okay. So we walked the entire office space and we came into an office, we've got LTE flashing blue, meaning there's no ethernet, but I've got LTE and five bars, optimal placement. So what we need to do is now mount it on the wall. So remember in our little unboxing video, we showed you this bracket. Now this bracket has capabilities for zip ties. If this is an open ceiling, it's got little clips that'll let you clip it right to the ceiling here to the wall or Velcro it to a window. So when we come back, we're gonna show you how to put the remote power from the far side into here. It's very simple. We'll see you in a second. Okay, we're back in the data center. I have the power over ethernet cable. I've plugged the power in and I'm injecting power into the PoE cable. It's very simple. And I have a little red LED that says DC in. So I have power into this. Now I take this RJ45 end of the PoE cable and plug it into the appropriate WAN port. In this case, we're a primary connection, so WAN1 of the VPN device. And now, we ran a piece of standard CAT5 to the CX, which is mounted almost 100 feet away from us. And I'll plug that cable in to the PoE injector. And I get a second LED that's the green one, which says the CX on the far side has power. So we complete our installation. When I come back, I'll give you a short demo of Accelerated View and we're done with the install. Thank you very much.